Hello, Mother. Where are you? In Los Angeles, in my beautiful office of my own late night talk show. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm still in limbo, which, uh, which doesn't exist anymore, so any, any plans you had to visit me are going to have to be postponed. This border can't even be crossed in a metaphysical dinghy. Having said that, we have had our first 50 cases of coronavirus. Apart from that, things are fine. It's, uh, it's limbo. You know, come see, come sa. It does go on forever, though, which can be a bit of a drag. How are you? Soon I would be driving my hybrid car to my beautiful fucking home. You have a home just for that? But might that be an indication that you do it too much? To kiss my two beautiful and healthy children. How are the little buggers? <laughs> They're getting so big now. You should introduce them to Joe Biden. Oh, uh, pa pardon me, mother. I seem to have tripped over the headless carcass of a crack baby on account of my being trapped in limbo forever. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but uh, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you some more. And my husband, who had taken the year off to parent so I could focus on my career. How's that going? Busy by name, busy by nature, lol, good for you. Oh, there's that smell of necrotized flesh again. Where is that coming from? Oh, it's me. And it never goes away. Oh, hum. And I have all of this. Why? All of it. Why, though? Because. Yeah, but why, though? Because. Yeah, but why? Because. Right, but, like, why? I was allowed bodily autonomy at 15. <laughs> That is so nice. That I, I, I am no, really. I'm so happy for you, mother. Serious. I'm so ecstatic. I think I feel a tingling in the perpetually underdeveloped, sexless cluster of stem cells I have between the flailing stumps I call legs. I, uh, I might well crack one off right here and now and spooge something bigger than myself. Awesome. I could die happy now. Wait, no, I can't ever. I will not be shamed into being quiet. We will not be shamed into being quiet never again. I'm very sorry to hear that. Because your voice is painful and pain makes me feel sorrow. I will never stop talking about my abortion. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm positively flattered. Uh, something told me my ears were burning. Oh, wait, that's the actual burning of the earless, smooth-ass sides of my shrunken mung bean head, baking in the heady glow of the obsolete underworld. I mean, I didn't ask to be talked about, I didn't ask to be famous, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I didn't ask for the vacuum nozzle either, right? I didn't ask to have my head flattened and my brain sucked out through a straw, but sacrifices have to be made in someone else's pursuit of fame and fortune. I mean, there's no law against using your children as accessories in your virtue signaling public relations narratives, especially not the dead ones. It's not even cruel. Technically, I don't exist, so, eh, fill your boots, mate. The entire concept of me is in the public domain. It's awesome. As some living dude probably once said, the only thing worse than being talked about is getting hocked out of someone's cunt like a spitball and then dying in a blob of medical waste in the corner of a plastic bag. Will there be anything else, Mother Dearest? My period! I've never met one. They go somewhere else. To some kind of existential nursery, I believe. My experiences in childbirth! My what? My episiotomies! We're shouting those now, are we? MY YEAST INFECTIONS! Ah. Those I have had the pleasure of meeting. They perished at a similar stage of development to my own, you see. Everything that curls up and dies in the vicinity of your snatch ends up here, in limbo, brightening up my day every time I see their cute little faces. Look, there's one now! Hey! Busy Phillips's third yeast infection. Oh, hello, Busy Phillips's second abortion. How are you today? Oh, that's spiffing. Uh, absolutely. Top of the morning, as per usual. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and the brooks are babbling like nobody's business. I just wish I wasn't in fucking limbo. I, I quite like it here. Have you considered signing a contract with Oil of Ole? What kind of low life do you think I am? Sorry. 
or my ovulation that lines up with the moon! Is this a private conversation? Nope. It's a promotional event. Good lord. I hope you're getting paid to listen to this. Not enough.